Hi, and welcome to Minri Arduino Gadgets. This is part of a series of videos where I'm going to show you how to build useful, interesting, and fun gadgets with a simple Arduino kit with some stuff that you might not see in your typical Arduino beginner's tutorial. I'm going to assume that you know how to do some basic things, like how to put the code for a circuit onto your Arduino, and how to put electronics onto a breadboard. If you aren't familiar, there are some great tutorials online that we'll have links to so that you can get that basic knowledge before trying to build things like this. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool little cat toy. It's an automated laser toy. So I have several cats at home, and they love chasing the laser, but one of them is a kitten and has more energy than I do. So to fill his appetite for laser toys, I made this, which can play with him as long as he wants to play. It's pretty simple code-wise, but it does require a little bit of like crafting, gluing things together, as well as some parts that you might not have in your kits. And it can give you a chance to play around with things like servos. So using it is really simple. All you need to do is plug it in, and the laser will turn on, and it will start to move. Uh, so it's going to move in random directions, random times, kind of just do its whole thing. The only thing that you should be careful with is making sure that the laser isn't going to shine into anyone's eyes, and also making sure that it's not going to end up on the ceiling too much. Because if it shines into your eyes, it can cause damage to your eyes, and if it ends up on the ceiling, your cats are going to get frustrated because they can't catch it. So make sure those two things don't happen, and mostly that's going to be based on where you put it in the room. So for me, what worked well was putting it up high somewhere where it can catch a lot of the floor and just keeping people out of the living room while it was playing with the cats. So this is a simple enough uh, gadget to wire, but it's a bit more complicated on the parts end. You're going to need three parts, and they're going to kind of all be in this little complex together. So there's two micro servos and a laser diode right here. Now the tricky thing about the laser diode is that your typical Arduino kit isn't going to include a laser diode, and most of the ones that you're going to find at the store don't have these little DuPont connectors which plug into the breadboard. They're just bare wires. So I've got a couple of different suggestions for you. One is if you already have a laser cat toy at home, particularly one of those cylindrical ones, the pen lights, you may be able to just tape the button down, wrap tape around the tube a couple of times, and then just go with that. Tape it to the servo, and then you should be good. Now, that'll remove the ability of the Arduino to turn the laser on and off, but it'll work. Now, if you don't have a laser at home, or if you don't want to do that, uh, I'd recommend purchasing some laser diodes on Amazon. Um, you can find a pack of these, of about 10 of these, for about $5. So it's not too bad. Um, and then you'll want to do one of two things. Either you can use some alligator clips, which have a DuPont connector at the end, to clip onto the bare metal wires and then plug those in. Or you can actually put the connectors on like I've done here. So DuPont terminating wires isn't super hard. You're going to need some specific tools, and you'll definitely want an adult's help. But if you have an adult who's willing to help you, it's easy enough to put the connectors on. You just need a little bit of time, and we'll put a guide on how to do that somewhere in the, on the web page so you can figure that out. Now, the servos are easier. These servos are typical micro servos that you'll find in an Arduino kit, and they only cost about $5. So if you've only got one, it's easy to get a second. Um, once you have them, you'll need to connect them somehow um, by gluing one servo to the other. This is how I've done it. I tried with sticky putty, I tried with tape. They work okay, but if you really want this to work, gluing is the best option. Because we want to control the laser in two different ways. We want to turn it side to side, and we also want to turn it up and down. Now, in technical terms, we call those yaw and pitch. This is yaw, W-A, sorry, Y-A-W. Uh, and this is pitch. Uh, P-I-T-C-H. So we need one servo to do each. This is our pitch servo, and then this is our yaw servo. So I've got the servo head of the, of the yaw servo glued to the other servo, which is going to control our pitch. Now I just used a standard super glue, and this held on really well. One thing you do want to be careful of is to not block the screw hole like I did there, so you can get it off later. These are just eternally connected, I guess. Um, uh, this is another place where you do want an adult's help. 
it's real easy to super glue yourself to yourself or to other things, and that hurts. So don't do that. Get someone to help you, be careful, and it should be fine. Now, once you have this all put together, your laser diode, I just have this electrical taped up here. Um, once you've got your laser diode and you've got your pitch servo and your yaw servo, it's really easy to wire this, actually. So, I'm gonna grab my breadboard and my Arduino. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my power and ground onto the Arduino's power, or sorry, the breadboard's power and ground rail. So this is five volt power to the power on the breadboard and ground to ground. Next, I'm gonna put my whole little thing here. I've just got like a little ball of, of sticky tack. I'm just gonna place that on the bottom of my servo and I'm just gonna squish it down. You don't really need to worry about this too much. Um, you're not putting any electronics near this, so it's not gonna be a concern electrically, and it'll just come right back up, so that's, that's not a big concern. So first, let's wire up the laser diode. So I'm gonna plug the power and ground of the laser diode, the red one and the black one there, into those points on the breadboard. We'll connect the ground, the black, directly to the ground on the Arduino or on the breadboard's rail. So ground to ground. And then to provide the power for the laser, I'm gonna connect the power of the laser to pin 12 on the Arduino. Which means that instead of it being always on, I'll have the ability, if I want, to turn it on and off. Now we need to wire the servos. So there are three colored wires on my servo. Uh, you may have different colors. If you do, look it up and try and figure out what they are. But for me, uh, the yellow wire or the orange wire is the signal that we use to control the servo. The red is the servo's power and brown is the ground. So it's real simple. First, for every servo, we will connect ground and power to ground and power. And you can see how I'm doing this. I'm basically putting these DuPont connectors directly into this. This is the female end and I need it to plug it into a breadboard. So power and ground to power and ground. Uh, and this one here is bent slightly, so it's a little, a little frustrating. There we go. And then the yellow or orange wire we're going to plug into a digital pin on the Arduino. Now, I've got the pitch servo here, and the pitch servo is controlled by pin 6. We'll plug that in. So pitch servo on pin 6. And then with the yaw servo, it's the same situation. Power and ground, power and ground. Get those plugged in. Da, da, da. Um, and then for the, uh, the yaw servo, it's gonna be pin five on the Arduino. Okay. So we're all plugged in, that should be good. We've got our laser diode wired up to pin 12, our pitch servo controlled by pin six, and our yaw servo controlled by pin five. So I'm gonna plug this in, plug in the other end. We should, See everything else? Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around a little bit. And there's the pitch servo working. So it's moving it up and down. I don't see my yaw servo working yet. Oh, there it went. So the code for this actually makes random decisions about whether to turn it with the yaw servo or to pitch it up and down random decisions about which direction to go, how far to go, how long to wait in between moving the laser. Uh, so it, it can be a little hard to tell if it's working at first. Um, so the first time you wire it, you might wanna just have the, the yaw and the pitch servo moving in some standard order. 
so that you can tell that everything's working before you uh, start freaking out about, about your wiring. And yeah, that's pretty much it. With that, we should be done. To learn a little bit more about servos and how they work generally, you can check out the Minri Gadgets video with Isaac Kasahara. That's a great video. We're pretty much done with this. So uh, it's, it's a real simple thing once you've actually got the little yaw pitch servo laser situation built up. Um, so if you want to try some new stuff, some things that you can try with this are turning the laser on and off at random times, if you have that capability. If you have just one of the laser toys with tape, that's not going to work, obviously. You could try to move the laser in a specific pattern, see if you can figure out how to do a circle or a figure eight. Um, another great thing would be to add a timer, which turns the whole thing on and off on some schedule. So say maybe for 15 minutes every three hours it plays with the cats. That could be really great for leaving this at home with your cats. Uh, and if you want to try something really, really crazy, uh, you could try to add a sensor of some kind, like a motion sensor to the circuit and make the laser move only when the motion sensor detects something has moved. That's pretty much it. I hope you had a lot of fun with this. Uh, continue to keep building things and stay curious. <laughs>